Well, well, Live Church, I'd like to share with you again and continue on with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. It's just so wonderful. When, it, people, people are attractive when they're thankful, when they're, when they're grateful. You know, a lot of times we get certain jobs, we get certain things, get certain clothes, or certain. I get, you get a new set of clubs, or someone blesses you, and you think, uh, oh, uh, this is great, you know, you're so excited, but as time goes on, you know, the clubs get old, the, the shirt becomes just something that you're familiar with, and you lose that sensitivity of thanksgiving. You lose the ability to be thankful. Well, you, you're just sear, you're conscious to being thankful. You know, if you want to uh, increase your capacity to receive or to experience God, cultivate a lifestyle of thanksgiving. Now let me say that again. If you want to uh, increase your capacity to receive or to experience God in a greater way, cultivate a lifestyle of thanksgiving. Well, if you cultivate a lifestyle of thanksgiving, guess what? You're always thanking God, so you're always acknowledging God, so you're always in faith because you're acknowledging that He's done something for you. So if you're thankful in everything, you're, con you're walking by faith. You're, you're living by faith. The, the more you thank Him, the more you acknowledge that, hey, no, you paid that price. No, oh, wait, you took my shame. Oh, wait, you healed my body. Thank you, Father. I'm telling you, the nine lepers, right? They were all healed and, and they leaped and jumped and they were excited, but only one came back and said, thank you thank you and he said uh, and jesus spoke over him and he said you're, you're you're completely you're complete you're whole he says where are the other nine it was the ten lepers sorry about that he said where's the other nine and they're all all ten should have come back but that really shows you uh percentages right that's one out of ten is ten percent so ten percent if you go by this uh, uh ratio here 10%, you know, out of 100% things that God does for individuals, big, little, small, how many people really are thankful? How many people actually come back and spend time every day in everything giving thanks to God? Why? How many? Well, if you learn to cultivate this lifestyle, because the way you do well, Jim Hockaday will say this, if the way you do life is the way you do, the way you do faith is the way you do life. Well, if you cultivate a lifestyle of thanksgiving, you'll, the way you do life will be in faith because you'll be in a place where you're always acknowledging Him. And if you acknowledge Him in all your ways, then He, what does He do? He leads, He guides you, He directs your path, He shows you things to come, He gives you things, He gives you unction and ideas, and he, He'll go way beyond what you could ever think or imagine. This is our loving Father. This is how much He cares for us. So is, it, uh, is, is thanking God powerful? Yeah, it's very, very powerful. It's, it's one of the purest forms of faith. Actually, when you get born again, I, when I lead people to the Lord at the end, I, I, I like to say thank you for giving me Jesus. Thank you for making me your very own. Thank you for making, for, for giving me new life, for, for causing me to be born again. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Well, you know why? When you, when you believe with your heart and you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus that He's actually paid the price for, your, for everything that you needed pertaining to life in this world and the life that is to come, He did way so much. We don't really even understand with our, this little brain, this little noodle of ours, everything that He's ever done. So, uh, how do we access these things? Well, we become thankful. We become thankful. In 1 Corinthians 15, 57, uh, I really enjoy this. It says, But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanksgiving, thanksgiving provides victory. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanksgiving is the way to victory every time. Thanksgiving is the way to victory. And if you cultivate this, whoo, you start to experience it. You start experiencing, you start having testimonies. You start realizing, wow, God, you know, this is what God did today. When I was thanking Him, this is what He did. 
he showed me something. Oh, he showed me, oh, he touched my body. Hallelujah. He gave me insight into to letting, giving something to somebody when, when they needed it. Not, and it's not just because they needed it, but because you, he directed, he directs you. He'll direct you. I mean, you want, you want direction? Well, you want to be acknowledging him? Well, to thank him. You know, you don't thank somebody on the street, you know, uh, say, you know, you don't thank a homeless person on the street who you don't know. You know, you don't thank him. You, or not even a homeless person, just someone walking by. You don't say, hey, thank you. Well, they'll look at you and say, well, what are you thanking me for? Usually when you thank somebody, you actually are acknowledging that they did something. They did something on your behalf. And so you acknowledge, hey, thank you for, for what are you thanking me for? Well, I'm thanking you because you did this. And so it's, you're acknowledging that they did something. That's called faith. Faith acknowledge, acknowledges what God has done. It's a response. Thanking God is a response to, what, to His loving character. You know, my, my, def, my definition of faith is simply the Father loving His children Extravagant, extravagant, extravagantly loving his children and his children responding to his love. How are you responding to his love? Well, you can respond to his love by saying thank you. <laughs> Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through Christ Jesus our Lord. You know, 2 Corinthians 2.14 is very similar to that. It says, Now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ Jesus. He said, what is, what is, what is he thanking God for? Because he, he always leads us in triumph. It means we never, we never lose. We always win. We always win. We always, always triumph. And through us, he diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge. Through you, there's a fragrance about you, that, and it distributes his knowledge in every place. Well, thanks, thanksgiving, people who are, have a, a thankful heart, they diffuse. There's, there's something that's, that, that they expel from their very core of their being. It's a fragrance, and it opens the door to those who don't know Him to, to come to a place to see you in a position where you're acknowledging. And, and the more you acknowledge God, the more He, the more he directs. The more you thank Him in everything, the more uh, you increase your capacity to receive or to experience God. So really, it's more up to you than it is to Him, because He's always doing. Our responsibility is how we're going to acknowledge God. Well, I think thanksgiving is one of the most powerful ways to acknowledge God. And a matter of fact, in Philippians 4, 6 through uh, 8, it says, Be anxious for nothing. Don't you be anxious. God doesn't want you to be worried. He doesn't want you to be careful, full of care and worry and anxiety. But He says, be anxious for nothing but in everything. By prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. <laughs> I think that in this scripture here, prayer and supplication is great. But when you add thanksgiving, you're, you're acknowledging, yeah, yep, thank you. I prayed and I supplicated, I communicated, I fellowshiped with you. Now I want to just thank you, Father, for all that you've done and all that you're doing right now. Thank you for touching my, my child. Thank you for touching my children. Thank you for revealing to my children all your goodness. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Hallelujah. Just thank you, Father, for being good to us. Thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for being kind to us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just thank you, Father. I see when you start thanking the Father, thank you, Father. Thank you for this day and age which we live in. Thank you for the church, for giving the church such a heart that's sensitive to your, to your will and to your spirit. Thank you for the growth in the church. There is growth in the church. Thank you, Father, for that growth. And it will continue to grow. And the Spirit of the Lord will move. It'll, he'll move and He'll manifest Himself in the body of Christ, in the believers. And as we grow and increase, there'll be an increase in intensity of God's grace on this, 
uh, in this place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for that. Thank you for that grace that you've given us. Thank you for Jesus. You know, uh, Brother Hagen, someone I sat under, he was a founder of a school called Rama. This is where I met Pastor Shauna. He, he, he would start off uh, a lot of times before he even taught. He was a good, very, very good teacher. He would, he, would, he would bow his head and say, I thank you, Father, for, for the Holy Ghost. I thank you for Jesus. I thank you for the written word. And I would, and I would think, well, can, 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 can't he say something else? But that's how he began class. Thank you, Father, for, for, for your son, Jesus. Thank you for your written word. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Well, me, by me saying, can't he say anything else? Well, what's greater? He's thanking God for what he's done for us. He's thanking God for Jesus. What, what was the, what, that's the greatest gift for all of humanity. It was given to all humanity. But only those who open their eyes or open their heart to receive what He's done can experience Him and be thankful. But a lot of times, even when we experience Him, we say, okay, good. Oh, I feel better now. But we should really include uh, thanksgiving. We should, we, should, we should really be thankful and so, thanking God is the way to victory and triumph every time. It's an expression of our faith. One cannot be truly uh, in thanksgiving and be outside of faith. Thanksgiving is pure faith. There, there, this is where many people ha of God have missed it. Thanksgiving is the message of faith. Hallelujah. Thanksgiving. I forget what minister. Could have been... Uh, uh, I forget what uh, she had a vision and she she saw this balance you know back in the day there we used to put so many grams on one side and some so many ounces and see what was equivalent you know and if you had more ounces than grams uh, or you had if it wasn't equivalent there were actually more uh, it, it would go one way or the other right well she had a vision of of her her request and her prayers was like this, and the other side was thanksgiving. It was lopsided. She was praying and she was requesting and she was praying and she was requesting. And God doesn't mind you praying and He doesn't mind you requesting, but He wants you to get to a place where, you're, where, where your hands come up, right? And you say, thank you. <laughs> he wants you to come to a place where he, you acknowledge, wait, I, uh, if any man lack anything, let him ask of God who gives. And so when he gives, when you ask, he gives. He gives liberally. He doesn't just give you a little bit. So when you ask and you're petitioning and you're praying, if that's all you're doing is asking and petitioning and praying, and you're not including with thanksgiving, it's going to be very difficult for you not to be anxious. It's going to be very difficult for you to receive and to experience God. you got to come to a place where you actually ah, you rest and you say, Father, thank you. Thank you. This is the confidence that we have in Him. If He asks anything, According to this, well, He hears us, and if we know that He hears us, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of Him. So when we pray and supplicate, what should we add to that prayer and supplication? Well, with thanksgiving. And after we add thanksgiving, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. You see, after we thank God, there's a, there's a manifestation of God's Spirit. Peace comes. Peace comes. There's a peace that'll come when we truly thank our Father. It's just not, we're not just uh, uh, putting it on. And sometimes we have to put it on, but you're, you're actually grateful and you're actually thankful. You come, you've entered into rest when you've come to a place where you're, you're thankful. And then what happens? Well, then, then uh, you can think on whatever's true, honest, just, lovely, pure, and of a good report, if there be any virtue, if there be anything praiseworthy, think on these things. It brings rest. When we acknowledge all that God has done for us, it brings rest, it brings peace. And we open our mouths and we cultivate this lifestyle of thanksgiving. We're acknowledging Him in everything. We're thankful in everything. 
you ought to be experiencing with true thanksgiving you ought to be experiencing God every day every day every day oh there's something different there's something greater there's something more he wants to show thank you father <laughs> thank you father thank you thank you thank you well to TLC family it was good being with you uh, you have a blessed day and I know um, I know deep down you let the you let the word of God just just, just listen to it and you'll come to a place where it'll be a shift on the inside. You'll be like, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to feel sorry for myself. God, you've done too much for me. Thank you for your son. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for the holy written word that you inspired. In Jesus' name. Well, have a blessed day.